Hey guys, Randy Kennard with Maine Wildlife Management, and down here today in uh, Searsport, getting a uh, some flying squirrels buttoned up in a house. I'm going to show you this one little issue that doesn't really have to do with the flying squirrels at all, but it has to do with the home itself. And this was this addition that was put on several, well, at least 15 years ago, and it's the exposed fastener metal roofing. And if you look closely. You can see almost every one of these heads has rusted out. Now there's standing water and there's absolutely no pitch on this roof at all for water to get out of here. So you just have standing water, like one little spot. You can hear the water squishing underneath. Look at this here. Watch this. Over here, the water's gurgling out. All right, there's water trapped underneath this flat roof. Where's the sun at? Well, uh, water is trapped underneath this roof, so what we really need to do is tear this roof off, put it, tie it into the other main roof, and uh, tear this metal off, put a new rafters, tie it into the new roof, put a pitch on here, uh, possibly going with a flat roof, uh, rubberized roofing. Uh, I think it'd be better off just to redo the whole thing. However, that's not the scope of this project for today, but you never know what you'll find. Oh, look at that. Another one rusted right out. And there's nothing even there. The washer's just a big hole. The water's come down through. So, homeowner had no idea. There's no signs of leaking inside yet. Uh, we're getting the place buttoned up to keep the flying squirrels out. Lo and behold, uh, we find a much bigger issue. It's not uncommon to go to a house for one issue. Uh, most folks will say like, oh, it's the squirrels that are the problem, or it's the skunks that are the problem, whatever. It's, typically, the real problem is there's something wrong with the home, right? There's an opening somewhere, there's some type of gap or structural um, failure that is allowing that wildlife into the home. Um, so oftentimes the wildlife is just a symptom of a bigger problem. And like in today's case, this roof isn't necessarily related directly to the flying squirrels. Uh, but given the condition of the home, it'll at least be squirrel proof, but waterproof, uh, that needs to be addressed 100%. So at least we can pass that on to the homeowner. So, interesting little find today. That's it for today. Everybody bet. Oh, yeah, look at this before we sign off. Look at that. I forgot to mention that too, like all the little rust spots. Yeah, that's just all rusted right through. There are several of these ribs. Oh, it focuses correctly. They're just rusted right through. Showing signs of rust everywhere. And there's more of it over there. See, now when you get up on the slope where it's pitched, you, know, you just don't run to that issue. The water can run off. It isn't going to sit there and cause rot. But this flat roof with absolutely no pitch... Um, here in Maine, even with the snow level, I mean, you should have a minimum of four pitch to let snow and water shed off. Um, there's a good chance if the, if the end of this um, addition lifts up just a little bit, then you're going to, you know, if that just comes up a little bit from frost, because this is on piers and blocks, and it comes back, now you've got a potential where it's just going to pool up here, and the only thing that's in going to stop water from here is hopefully they have some type of ice and water shield, but I doubt it. Um, but there's just little foam gaskets, and those aren't going to stop anything. Water's going to pool up. In fact, you can see some of the water pooling over here, too. Yep, it's just hanging out. Now, this piece of flashing should be going up underneath the metal, so it shouldn't skirt up too bad, but a big snow load builds up. It's a potential for it to melt and just work its way right up the house and rot it out. So, proper thing to do is tear it off, rebuild the whole thing, and, uh, not have any catastrophic failures of the ceiling. Um, but, you can only do so much today. So, just want to share that. And we're going to back to flying squirrels. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.